Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Matt's Market. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you are brand new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button for us and gently tapping that like. We got CryptX about to break down the market for us here tonight, so I'm going to let him rock for a little while, and then I'll be back on the mic in a bit. So welcome, CryptX. <coughs> hey, Matt. What's going on, man? Thank you very much for bringing me in. Oh, it's my pleasure, bro. It's always a pleasure to have you on, man. I, I know the crowd really enjoyed having you up, so... We got you back, man. Hopefully it'll be a regular thing. So um, I'm not going to tie you up, bro. I'm going to let you do your thing. So uh, let me know if you need anything in the back channel. And, uh, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to the show. Okay, brother. Thank you, man. Looking forward to talking to you guys again. Uh, waiting on some people to come in the room, I see. Uh, let's go ahead and turn. Hey, Rick, what's going on, brother? Glad to see you here again tonight. Let's turn the live chat on there. There we go. We're just kind of getting up and running, Rick. I'm kind of setting up, looking at the board, reviewing markets, figuring out uh, what we want to talk about uh, tonight. I'm uh, going to look at a few different things tonight, uh, a couple of boards. I'll post a little bit of stuff uh, for people to look at when they get into the room. We'll do uh, several board runs. We'll talk about the market in general. We'll talk about the news that's going on if you want to. Uh, it really, we, this can go anywhere that you all want it to go tonight. I am wide open to suggestion or whatever. Hopefully my partner Small Caps will be able to make it in with us this evening. Uh, if he can make it in with us, that would be excellent. There's no finer person in the world to be my partner or to do tokenomics reviews than Small Caps. Uh, he is absolutely 100% talented uh, when it gets there. Yeah, I like seeing the uh, bit chart running. Citadel, what's going on there, brother? Uh, let's see, are we open? Yeah, we are live on Twitter as well. We're going to do this as a, a simulcast to both. On Twitter, I won't be uh, giving out mics or asking anybody to talk. Uh, if you, Unless you uh, throw a hand up or whatever, and I can get a quick break in, I'll jump over, grab your question, and come back. So if you want to actually ask me, you can't hear? Hey, Rick, are, are, you, are you saying you can't hear me right now? Hold on one sec. I'm not sure where our issues lie, but let me try and find out. Uh, there we go. Hey, are we back now? Rick, do you, can you hear me? Do you have me now? Oh, it sounds wonky right now. Critter, send me a message back. Tell me if it's wonky right now. If it is, give me just one second, and I'll uh, and I'll fix it. Actually, you know what? No matter what. Hold on one second, guys. We'll wait one second to go. Let me try and fix this sound real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Cryptex, you there? I think he's having some mic issues, guys. So give him a few minutes. Uh, quick market update: We got Bitcoin eighteen thousand nine hundred seventy-three bucks, taking a bit of a dip, having a little Sunday sell-off, like we talked about, guys. So uh, just pay attention to the markets. We got the Fed talking tomorrow. Emergency meeting coming out. Uh, not looking too uh, too bullish, but we'll have to see. Let me shoot Cryptex a message and tell him to. Uh, Probably drop his mic out and then come back in. Cryptex, if you can't hear me, uh, yeah, there you go. So he dropped on out and he'll probably hop right back in, guys. But welcome to the show. If you could, please hit the like button. Cryptex will be breaking off the show, and then I will be back. Um, I will be back on after him. So Cryptex, you back with us? Matt, I'm here, man. Do you got me? We got you loud and clear, brother. So I'm going to let you uh, handle the show. I saw you had some mic issues, so I just hopped in real quick just to just to fill the void, man. So, Yeah, that's a good one, man. I think I actually left an external mic plugged into the system somewhere, too, and was getting some reverb. You guys hear me okay now, Chris, Crypt, uh, Crypto Critter, Rick Cogswell, Bick? You guys all hear me good? If you're hearing me good, we will get started right into this, man. Uh, my name is Cryptex. You can just uh, – X is great. That's what everybody calls me. 
Uh, I am a host over at Twitter. I invest. I'm uh, one of the uh, OGs, I guess, of the uh, crypto market, and I'm also one of the OGs of life. Um, I've been around a couple of days and seen a few things. I like to uh, talk crypto. I like to talk world. Um, anything that affects our money, I like to get into. Uh, if you guys are following our first broadcast over here, we came over here the other night and uh, we had been on a play since uh, Monday. Caps and myself evaluated a company called Deso, D E S O, on Monday. Its price was $6.02. We liked it. We moved in our investment group. I think people from our investment group moved into this thing as well. Uh, looking at it right now, it's gone from $6.02 to fifteen fourteen. If you remember when we were in the other night, I'll remind you again, it was ten eighty nine. We called a 20% drop for a buying opportunity. That 20 percent came back um, like we thought it would we bought back in we're at 15 bucks right now this is a great run for Deso. it's a great company don't don't be surprised if it adds a zero to its price I'm just telling you um, it's got a great great year Gucci Mane okay yeah man I wish um, <clears throat> anyway uh, good uh, good future uh, Boy, yeah, I hope so, man. Thanks, Kurt. I appreciate it, man. Hey, if there's anything that you guys want me to break down or any companies you want to talk about, look at, or anything else, I can do those for you. Let me do this first, okay? Um, I do a board run called the X board run. These are all my personal investments. I start with Bitcoin, work my way down from there. The reason I say it that way, Bitcoin's the greatest in the world, in my opinion. I put it up top and work my way down. Everything else comes second, man. But I am not a maxi, guys. I am a macro economist. I am a macro investor. Um, I, look, I... I look around the world at everything going on. I analyze my own. I chart my own. I do everything on my own. Um, uh, I've got some really good friends here, some really smart people. BTC Citadel's here. If you guys don't know him, he is one of the finest minds uh, that you will talk to about uh, charting and money and investing. He is fully licensed. He is a, a Series 66. Um, so anytime you see BTC Citadel around, you want to have a conversation with him, jump in and talk to him. He's one of my guys, man. Uh, we talk about every day. He is a great challenge to me and my intellect. I can tell you that right now. So uh, I enjoy every conversation with him. Guys, I'm going to uh, just give me a me and Critter a shout. What's up? Chris Bug and Critter. Glad you guys are here, man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Was that a shout enough, man? All right, man, we're going to do the X board run. These are my personal investments. I don't know how many there are on the board, 30 or 40. It takes me about three minutes to get through an X board run. When I'm done with this, I also have a DeFi board that we can run down and talk about. We also, Caps and myself, publish a working list over at CoinMarketCap. You can follow if you want to. Um, but this is going to be the uh, X board run. We're going to call this 4.30 Pacific time, although it's a few minutes past that, uh, in the United States of America. Coming to you from California. I'm on the uh, West Coast. The X board run starts right now with Bitcoin comes in 18,963.91. XRP Ripple is 0.447775. The price of ADA Cardano, 0.4187. Algorand sells for 0.3542. Avalanche, AVAX on the ticker, $16.52. Big Data Protocol comes in at 0 0.02482. Bitcoin file sells for triple zero six four three nine three. Bone is a dollar twenty one oh nine. DAG, that is Constellation, D-A-G on the ticker, and we like them this year. They are one of the monsters uh, that we're working on. Point double, or I'm sorry, point zero seven zero two two. Deso, as just reported, it was 15 bucks a second ago. It is 15.08 right now. Dogecoin comes in at point oh five nine one zero. The DXY, that's the U.S. dollar index in our space, is 112.188 right now. It's a ridiculous number. When that number is coming down, you're going to know that the, the you're going to see that this market does a lot, lot better. Five zeros and a two four five is the price of Dog Elon. Ethereum naming service sells for fourteen dollars and seventeen cents. Ethereum, the price one thousand two hundred seventy four dollars and two cents. Flowchain comes in at one dollar and sixty one cents. The price of Flux is point eight three two. H bar, that's Hedera. 0 0.0563. If you're following Hedera, by the way, Coinbase is going to re-release this in the middle of October. I don't know what their issues were. I do know they're going to come back out with it. It will be back out soon. 0 0.0563. Watch for action on Hedera. Uh, 0.7435 is the price of IMX, Immutable X. We love it. Best Layer 2 solution in the world. They're playing their own game, folks. Jasmine 00636. 
Everything says to short it, short, 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 short to the ground. Cardia chain comes in uh, right now at 0 0.0079580. If you'd like to invest in Cardia, the ticker symbol there is KAI, Kilo Alpha India. Clay comes in right now at point to, or Clayton comes in right now at point 0.1865. That's Clay on the ticker. Litecoin, the price $51.84. Look for a huge move on that thing this year. Uh, Luna Classic. I know everybody's in this, everybody's watching it really close there's a lot of activity to it triple zeros and a 33066 on luna classic mana decentraline the original metaverse sells with 0.6822 right now i don't know about you but to me that sounds like an amazing price decentraline is one of our bigger ones this year love to talk about decentraland um Love to talk about Decentraland more tonight. You guys let me know. We'll go wherever you want to go with this. Next in the X board run is Near Protocol 3.485. Ecomi is the name of the company. OMI is the ticker symbol. And it comes in right now at 0.0012469. Qtum is Q-T-U-M. $2.77 with a 5 on the end. RSS3 comes in right now at 0.12438. Secret Network. My friend TJ would be uh, happy right now, actually. The price has fallen. Another buying opportunity. Point. 9051 on secret. Wow, that thing is way undervalued in my opinion, guys. Shiba comes in four zeros ten ninety two. Symbiosis, that's S I S on the ticker, comes in at point one three three six. Solana, big daddy, comes in at thirty two dollars even. Starlink, a bunch of zeros, thirty two thirty eight. Stargate, this is one of our bigger projections for the year as well. Point five zero six six. That is a six chain monster ready to blow up. Swiftcoin, the only cross payment service on Coinbase at this point. Point zero zero one five four five for Swiftcoin. That's a SWFTC on the ticker. Uh, TE Food is the name of the company. Tone, T O N E is the uh, ticker symbol. Point zero one four two six. They're going to change the world. Uh, not necessarily in their space, which is the uh, food space. Uh, but they're going to change the world with their utility. It's going to be used in every space. VeChain is VET, comes in right now at 0 0.02259. VVS sells on the Kronos network. What is going on? We have a malfunction with coin market cap on VVS. I think the price is about five zeros, five seventy three, man, but uh, it's not reporting correctly. It looks like five hundred seventy three dollars. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and shut the X board off, and I'm going to head over to Switzerland on my private jet. Uh, probably fly around in my jet Ranger for a little while and count my billions. So uh, obviously, we're being reported wrong on VVS. If it's five hundred seventy three dollars, somebody please uh, type it in for me and tell me that it's uh, five hundred seventy three dollars. Zilliqua comes in at 0 0.03035978. Polygon Matic sells for 0 0.7659, and we love Polygon Matic for the year. And if you don't know about Crow, you better get to know Crow because Crow is a monster. Crypto.com is coming. Kronos is the line. 0 0.1092 is the price, and we absolutely love that price. Guys, I'm going to follow the... Um, I'm going to follow the chat a little bit. If anybody has anything that they want to get in, please throw it down there in the chat. Um, look, my partner, Small Caps, isn't with me tonight. I'm not too much on breaking down companies by myself without him. Uh, he would normally take the screen share and do this. So, look, I agreed to do the open for Matt here because, uh, hey, guys, I can talk. And um, I can talk about a number of different topics. We can go down this board. I wish somebody would tell me, if one of you guys wants to talk about a particular company, let me know. If you want me to switch to DeFi, let me know. Hey, Dan, what's going on? DMAC, that's my boy, man. I hung that uh, nickname on Daniel last week. I love DMAC. That's my boy. I'm glad you're in here. Tris, uh, thanks for being in here, man. At Matt's Market, what's up? Please uh, uh, just smash the like, smash the join, be a member, follow Matt, come to YouTube. Hey, dude. That, that guy is a P-I-M-P pimp, man. He is on fire. What he does is on fire. I love it, and I'm proud to open for Matt. Um, look, on the export, when we were running down the export, we had several of them on there <clears throat> to keep an eye on, okay? We came in here the other day, and we tossed a couple out of them out, small caps and myself. I think we gave you two or three of them, right? Two or three plays to follow that have huge uh, um, X potential for the year, right? I think we gave you Stargate. Uh, you know we love it. I think we gave you Constellation, if I remember correctly, and possibly Qtum, right? We think those are three of the really, really big plays for this year. Um, listen, I believe in being solid. And I mean super solid, okay? Um, I like having a 90-10 portfolio, 90 of solid on the main board. And when I'm solid on the main board, I'm talking the I'm talking the investments in Solana. I'm talking about the investment in IMX. I'm talking about the investment in Litecoin, Bitcoin. 
Bitcoin, Ethereum, right? XRP is my very biggest bag of anything. Um, guys, you know, solid investments will pay solid returns all the time, okay? In this space, the allure of the gamble is one of those things. I mean, we, it's just part of our space. It's part of what we do. People want to gamble. Right. It, it, no matter how many jokes go around, how many people talk that shit about, you know, oh, yeah, man, win Lambo. Yeah. Oh, that's not me. Yeah, it is. A lot of times it's most of the people that come in and that we talk to. Right. Everybody wants their line to explode. Everybody wants to make a ton of money. And let's just be fucking honest about it. But, you know, if you think it's going to happen tomorrow, I'm going to throw this out there. It's just not. Okay, look, you may end in, indeed end up with a Lambo and a mansion, a yacht, a damn, you know, full stat. You may wind up with everything that you want. Don't count on that shit tomorrow, man. Become a skilled investor. Become solid. Get your skills up. Learn to make your own chart. Start out learning to make a trend line, right? It's funny. BTC said this to me earlier, right? We were just in a conversation, and we were joking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to make a trend line. Hey, learn to make a trend line, guys, you know? That's a joke, man. I mean, we both know how to make our own charts, and that's fine. But, you know, start somewhere. If you don't know how, reach out to somebody like me. Reach out to somebody like BTC. So reach out to him first, actually, probably. Um, reach out to one of us, reach out to small caps and you know, look, we don't charge money. I don't want your money. I'll talk to you all day, all night. You can call me on the phone. If you want to call me on the phone, you can follow it, Twitter. You can be here. It makes me absolutely no difference at all. Um, there you go. BTC has got some stuff in the lobby for you. Look, I'm tired of seeing people get wrecked y'all. I'm tired of seeing people get wrecked because they don't understand how to do some of the research. It's okay. Not everybody starts out knowing how to do everything on day one, right? Caps and I have a very simple program of looking at companies and, uh, oh, thank you on the, on the, uh, I see that by the way. Thanks on the D so man. Um, yeah, it's, it's going up good, right? About five bucks since I was in here last. Um, but hey, you know, look, we teach investment workshops just to teach people how to find information in the company, what to be looking for. And we'd like lots of eyeballs looking at it, you know, because the more eyeballs, the more better. That may sound cheesy. It may sound corny, but that's for real. When you get a lot of eyeballs looking at something, you can shred these things down and you can put your money in with your brain, right? We identify companies every week that have a hundred X possibility, thousand X possibility and one of my requirements for it moving over to the board, I need to be able to identify billions of dollars behind the company. Okay, that's if I'm trying to go solid. I want billions behind my company. I want partnerships beyond partnerships beyond partnerships. I want somebody out there telling my company, I got you, I believe in you, I invested in you, and we're going to make this thing work together. Okay, I, I am not into broke dick projects that need $600 to develop their next NFT, which they hope is going to get on their windfall and all the night. Hey guys, I, I'm just not much into DeFi, but I do understand the gambles. Here's the thing. What if I told you that you can find thousand X returns out here um, without having to buy meme coins? Would, would anybody believe me or would you think, oh, he's fucking nuts? Okay, it, they're out there. There's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of value out there at 100x, 50x, 60x, 70x, 1000x. They're out there. Do you know where to find them? To start looking at them. How do you evaluate them once you get to them? How many, you know, do you know everything about them? Well, if you don't know everything about them, we'll teach you. We'll show you. Right? We'll show you where to look and then we'll hope that you come in with us and we start tearing them down together. Caps and I have a place over at spatial.com. It's a metaverse over there. It's web2 tech, but it's an actual metaverse. You can go in, enter the portal, and we have a workshop in there that has live interactive walls. It has auditorium seating. It's live with uh, audio, video, and everything else that you want. You've got your characters. You've got your central land mask. You've got art on the wall. Come on out. Thank you very much. Well done. So much appreciated. I mean, there's art on the walls. There's uh, there's great stuff over there. And we're going to be able to... Um, hey, dude. That's the first time somebody tipped me even that. Dude, that five bucks, man, that is badass, dude. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I, I hope I can continue to come in and give you guys some things to take a look at, right? Um, even whether if it's just following my list, for example, over Coin Market Cap, I'm going to post the link to my list over Coin Market Cap. Um, you can look down and see what I'm looking at. I'm invested in almost all of those, but it is an interactive list, man. And I add five or ten a day, and then I blow out five or ten a day. So. 
you know, I mean, I, I don't know. It's fully interactive with me. Caps has a pretty purified list over on uh, his page. I'll try and get that for you. If he comes in tonight, we'll definitely get it for you guys. But here's my list over at Coin Market Cap. Go over and take a look, uh, see what you think, and if there's anything that's on there that you want to have a talk about, let me know. Most of those I'm invested in. I would say probably 90% of those are investments that I am already in. Um, like everything else. Um, I track the market. I look for a few day trades here and there. Um, on, quite honestly, look, I am an optimist all the time, right? I it, This is the way that I feel. Okay, I trust me 100%, okay? And just like you trust you, you know what you know, but more importantly, folks, you know what you don't know, okay? So when I look at a company and I determine that that company has that 50X, 100X, 500X, 1000X possibility, I'm going in. Okay, I'm going to go in with my brain. I'm going to go in wisely. Okay, I'm going to go in in small amounts. I'm going to try not to move the line. Um, I'm going to get what I want into the company. But that doesn't mean I'm going to ape it in and get killed by the computers and hit for a 30% drop. Dude, if I got to take a month to get it in, I'll take I'll take a month to get it in the way I want it. But once I've got it in and I feel solid about it, then it's solid. I've got that 100x sitting in my wallet. I don't touch it. I don't fuck with it. I leave it. You know, if I want to day trade, I go over and do it with other stuff, man. But long Hey guys, I am very, very solidly long. I am 90% long solid. Uh, my 10%, even my 10, maybe even 15% that I call, you know, my DeFi or my gambles, they are solid. They have solid money behind every single one of those companies. I, I'm not sure if I invested in anything. I, you know, I have a couple of little cheapies. Look, our friend Sean develops Good Driver Reward Token. I like GDRT. He has real utility over there, man. Um, and he's going somewhere. He gets picked up by any one insurance company and he's going to make a lot of money. So, you know, because I'm friends with Sean, I, uh, <laughs> oh, Chris, my man. Mm. Um, you know, but anyway, I like Sean over at GDRT. So I bought a little bit of that. Obviously, uh, 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 small caps and myself, whether you guys know it or don't know it, we uh, do the uh, media for Psychotic Society. He represents our values. He would never steal from anyone. Um, as a matter of fact, he's got too good of a heart sometimes. So we do the uh, marketing media for Psychotic. Um, and I, again, truth is more important to me than representing anyone. If there's anything wrong with psychotic, I'll be the first one to say it. I'm not going to put anybody in a bad investment. So, you know, we have a little bit of that. I keep a few, you know, real gambles. But just to be honest with you, for the most part, dude, I am solid, solid, solid. My companies that, that are out there, if you look at any of the companies on my coin market cap list, if you scroll down, um, the way a lot of times I like to sort them is I like to sort by the market cap um, in reverse. Okay, so I like to work my way down. Right, so click the market cap twice and scroll down the list and look from there because the bottom of the list right there, right, by market cap, that's gonna tell you where your value is. Um, if you look on the bottom of mine, I really like a few things down there, right? I like Bitspawn a great deal. Uh, Bitspawn has got some tie-ins and it is very inexpensive right now. It is a Solana product. It's going to Coinbase this year. It's got a good game utility over there. I really like Bitspawn. And with a market cap of $296,000, this is what I'm telling you, okay? You're not going to get a Lambo tomorrow. I know nothing about whether or not Bitspawn is going to blow up and go off the chart tomorrow and you do 1,000x. But I know this much. I know that I can add and I can multiply and I can do math. So let's do it together. The market cap right now is $296 billion. In my opinion, a good company in the crypto space has a $3 billion, around a $3 billion market cap or better. Okay, in the top 100, that kind of shit. Um, but I take that back further. I told you I'm conservative. You know, I don't like pie in the sky. I target a billion and a half on my market cap. Okay, one billion and a half. And that is it. So just a simple look at the market cap. Um, if I add one zero to the market cap of 296,000, I get 2.96 million. If I add two, I get 29 million. If I add three, I get 290 million. And if I add four zeros for a 10,000 X, I get a $2.96 billion market cap. So cut that in half and make that a $1.5 billion cap, right? And you have the possibility in Bitspawn of a 5,000x on a token that is going to Coinbase, that is on Solana, and um, is going to pay very, very big returns. It is a great price at 0005774, um, and that's one of the reasons that we do this, guys. That's how I look at them.
Okay, I'm going to jump back over to the chat real quick. Hard to find new stuff to dump funds in now. I'm holding uh, from years ago. Okay, liquidity is grabbed on the one minute due to invert. You are a bastion of good news, bro. It is, if you guys don't know uh, BTC Citadel, man, we just call him short pants, man. I mean, that dude knows every short. If you want to know about shorts, if you, <laughs> he is the man when it comes to calling. And, and I hate it. I, there are sometimes I don't even want to talk to him. So he'll tell you. I'm like, dude, I don't want to talk to you right now. Don't you, I feel like he's coming in the room, man, like killing my positive energy, right? Taking away from some of the things we got going on. Hey, let's talk about a few other things. Is there any, by the way, let me just take a quick pause. Um, I tell you what, you guys are going to hear this. I am going to light a joint because I am a medical marijuana user. I'm also a recreational marijuana user, and I believe in it. Uh, I believe in full legalization of it, man. So if you guys will give me just a sec. I apologize that you're going to hear me in the background lighting this, but you're going to hear it, and then we'll uh, talk after that. Give me one sec. All right, now we're good to go. Now I can act. I will tell you nothing ever. I have no idea what you're... Get out of here. What are you posting? Get out of here. No, no, no. You can stay, bro. That's my boy. BTC said it all, by the way, guys. I I'm just telling you. He, he really is everything I was talking about a few minutes ago. He's smart. He's funny. Um, he has a perspective on life. He's a no excuse maker, right? Listen, I talk about this sometimes. I'll take a minute while I'm smoking my joint here and talk about this, right? Look, I don't like excuses in any aspect of life, right? You know, when I hear people, oh, I got wrecked last year. This company did this to me. This influencer did that. This person did this. Stop it. Stop it right there. Take personal responsibility. Look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, dude? You fucked up. And then don't do it again, right? Sorry about the, uh, like, I, I cuss all the time, so I don't cuss at anybody. But, you know, if y'all are profanity sensitive, man, uh, I probably ain't the dude, man, because I break out a few of them every minute, uh, it seems like. But, you know, hey, look, this space takes education. It takes responsibility, right? It takes you being on your game. A bad moment in your game could cost you a lot of money, right? I don't know what level you invest at. I'll never ask. Um, I'll never tell you mine. I, I'll, it's never, I, I just don't go there, right? Because there's no reason. You either know if you make good decisions or not. You know if you're making money or not. You know if you're advancing or not. If you're not, educate more, learn more, chart more, talk more, ask more. I mean, do whatever you've got to do, man, to figure the game out, right? But I'll tell you this, if you find good people and surround yourself with them, there are more than enough people that are willing to help you and they won't charge you anything. They'll help walk you through it and they'll let you see everything on your own. And I mean, these people, these people here, um, for the most part, they're not like that. There's only a small handful that are here that, that will do that. And I mean, in the online space, the crypto space, whatever you want, but there are people here that will. And I'm telling you now that a couple of them are in the room. I will do anything to give you a hand if I can. My boy, BTC, uh, cursing, I care less about it. You're cursing, you're right. Hey, brother, me and you, man, we're on the same page, Ruin Nation. I love it, brother. Hey, um, <clears throat> but anyway, you know, look. Just invest wisely, man. Put your money in wisely. Do real research. Forget that bullshit about my best friend told me I'm getting a fucking Lambo tomorrow and when's my mansion and when's my yacht and all that, right? Find good companies responsibly. Look at every single aspect of the company. Know what you're buying into. Know where you're going with it. And then, hey, like I said, man, as your skills improve, or maybe you already have the skills to day trade. If you already have day trading skills, great. Get yourself a great portfolio of longs, right? A great portfolio that you know you're going to put together, sit back, and it doesn't matter how long it takes. If Hey, look, when you look at my list at CoinMarketCap, I don't care if five, six, seven go off the chart this year and the rest don't. Great. How many are going off the chart next year? Five, six, seven going to go off the chart again next year? I mean, that's what happened last year. So, you know, look. Um, just make sure you're solid, have your money in the right place, and you'll watch exponential growth. The biggest mistake, and BTC said it all. Here you go. I'm talking to you right now. A simple yes or no will deal. Will do. The biggest mistake that young traders make, in my opinion, is trading too much. What's your opinion on that? Yes or no? They trade too much or no, they don't? Yeah, I, Matt's here. Um, Unique, I'm doing the open for Matt. Matt should be here uh, in a bit. We're covering an hour or two for Matt every day from 4 o'clock to about 6. It's usually my partner, Small Caps, and myself, but it's just me tonight, man. So if my voice isn't doing, isn't doing it for you, Carbon, I get it, man. 
you know, I got one of those gruff kind of voices, man, you know, so it is what it is, but I've been investing a long time. I know how to look at good companies and, you know, if you want to look at companies and find solids, well, you know, like I said, I came in the other night, I gave you guys one, uh, it's done pretty well, right? It's up, I don't know. It's up a lot. So BTC incoming at 12,000. You need carbon. Are you sure that you're not BTC Citadel in disguise? You guys must be brothers of the 12K faith because he's squawking that shit in my ear every day. I don't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. Uh, I think we're going to see seismic activity starting right uh, right away, dude, to be honest with you. I'm a little concerned about the Fed on Monday. We'll see what they say. Um, <clears throat> but, uh Dude, I just can't be enough of a pessimist to go to 12K. I just, I, I just can't do it. But, you know, then again, listen, I, I have this thing, right? I, I really honestly think if you're going to trade Bitcoin, right, as, as a trade, you better have about $10 million. I mean, that's just the way I see it, man. You better have a big-ass bank account and be ready to trade, hold, long, short. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I'm not playing $10 million, okay? So, you know, when I look out at it right now, what I'm trying to do is find value. I'm going back to, like I was saying the other night, the early days of the New York Stock Exchange. People were able to invest in companies, and a few percent of the world came and invested in those companies, and the rest of them didn't. The ones who did, they invested in those companies in that market 150 years ago. Hey, you know what? They are the power brokers in the world, in the United States, and everywhere else. Their generational wealth, their generational power, they, they are probably the secret inside society of the United States of America. And here you go. You have the chance to be them next because you're in the top 5%. You're in the first 5% of everybody coming into this market right now, right? So if you take yourself solid, you make good investments, you hold them for the long term, I got really good news for you. You're going to reset the power structure, the wealth, and the hierarchy of the world. You know, regardless of generating your self-generational wealth, that's almost a given. If you find good companies out here in the infancy that they're in, you are on the ground floor. And you know what? If you find 100 good companies right now or 200 good companies, they're going to remain the 100 or 200 great companies, right? Other people are going to be going to them to do business with them. You'll find out about other investments from those great companies. Being solid pays dividends, and it pays lots of dividends, okay? Listen, when you're not solid, <clears throat> you're gambling. Okay, you're, you're going to Crypto Vegas, and Crypto Vegas is a spot that far too many fucking people around here go to, right? They love some Crypto Vegas, man. Same as pulling handles at the casino, right? I'll tell you one of the big mistakes that happens out here in this market. I cover this sometimes on my on my Spaces broadcast, um, and, and I'll tell you guys about it. Here's the biggest problem out here um, from last year. A lot of people last year got paid, right? They hit a couple big ones, man. They might have hit they might have hit Doze. They might have hit uh, Sheba. They might have been in Saitama and got a big pump out of it, and they had money in their pocket, man, you know? And then it all went away. And when all the money went away, then all the bullshit started, right? Oh, man, yeah, I got screwed. Oh, man, you know, this is my place, and they got all my money and this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. And, um, you know, I, I heard all this crying. Okay, it's your own fault. For all those people that were out there crying, I'm screaming. It's your, it's your own fault. Look I, look, I go to the casino sometimes. I like gambling. You know, and I'm going to give you a really good example, okay? When you're out there gambling with all of your plays, you're playing blackjack at the casino, you're pulling slot handles, you're doing something. But here's the analogy. You sit out at the black table and you go on a winning streak, baby, and you are rolling it up. You have a stack of chips in front of you. You can barely see over. What's going on, Alex? Glad to see you in the room there, brother. I'm trying to read the chat while I'm doing this. Anyway, you get to the table, man. You sit down, you're playing blackjack. You got a stack of chips, man. You can't see over them. And your boy tells you, he says, man, you got a fat stack of chips, man. Let's go. And you're like, no, 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 no. I'm hanging with this shit, man. I'm hot, baby. You know, my Lambo is coming tomorrow, right? You know you should get up and leave. You know what the right thing to do is. You know you should be taking a profit. You know you should be protecting money, but you don't because you want to win big, right? You leave those chips on the fuck that. Watch this, man. I'm a, they're going to make a movie about me when I win all this money. And you leave it on the table, and guess what happens? You walk out of the casino with your buddy who was telling you to get up and leave, and as you're walking out, man, you ask your boy, man, to loan you 12 bucks for one of those casino cheeseburgers. Man, it's worth like, you know, 32 cents, right? That's what happens, okay? And that's what happened out here in Crypto Vegas for the last year. People hit, they got this money, they thought they knew something. Instead of realizing, hey, I got lucky, man, I hit, me, I hit myself a big one, man. I'm going to take some of this money, and I'm going to learn what I'm doing. I'm going to protect it. I'm going to put it off to the side, and, you know, because I love this crypto, uh, I'm I'm going to really learn and dig in and become a pro now. But they didn't do that. They came out here looking for the next Lambo. And I'm going to hit it bigger on the next one. And this fucking doggy's this. And this shit coin's that. And blah, 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 blah. Fuck, man. I heard enough of it. I think I drowned in shit coin, in shit coin hell last year about 100 fucking different times. I continue to drown in it. 
look, I don't care about meme coins. I don't care about shit coins. If you invest in them or, you know, if you buy them and you're trying to gamble and you're trying to hit, look, that's awesome, dude. I do. I told you I got 10, 15% of those or what I call those anyway. Right. But if you don't handle it right, that's your own fault. If it goes to shit, that's your own fault. If it gets rug pulls, that, that's your own fault. You took a gamble, understand what it is and move on with life and be happy. Look over at your main board and go, you know what? A gamble didn't matter shit to me. Because my main board is on a steep 45, it is on the climb, I'm going to stay with it on the grind, okay? So, guys, look, I gave you one the other night, man, when, when I was in here, man, we broke out Deso for you guys. Uh, Deso was 10 bucks when we got in here, it's 16.35 right now, it's uh, rolling, that's one of our bigs of the year. We came in the next day, we gave you a couple of longs in Constellation, that's DAG. Uh, we gave you a couple in uh, Stargate or whatever. Those are all those ones that are on my board. We've done the research on every single one of these. I know every one of these companies. Um, from this point on, though, man, I'm going to leave it up to you. If you guys want to talk about any of the companies that are on my list, they're over there. I put the coin market cap link in there. I'll post it in again right now in case you guys want to go over there and look. If you want to talk about any of the companies on the list, go ahead. Uh, your questions, I will answer. I'll look at anything that you're interested in talking about. Um, guys, I, I'm going to say this really quickly. Um, I do not analyze or talk about Luna Classic. Okay, look, there are, two, there are a lot of variables there for me. Um, and I just don't speak on it very, very well. So I usually leave that up to my partner, Small Caps, when he wants to come in. If BTC Citadel had come in with us tonight, which I was hoping he was going to be able to make, but I believe he's working, um, he could have uh, told you about it. I've got a couple other of my guys. We'll see where they're, where they're at on a, a Sunday night. Um, Matt, are you still in the room at all by any chance? If he's not in the room, guys, I'm going to see if I can grab Matt. I need about a five-minute break real quick. <clears throat> um, and so see if I can bring Matt in for five minutes. Um, if he can spell me, that would be great. And uh, then I'll come back and go through some more. I've got some more on my list, okay, that we can talk about. Just let me know what it is that you would like to talk about the most. Is anybody in an investment they're frustrated with? Do you, are you thinking about entering somewhere? Um, do you have questions? We have BTC Citadel in the lobby here. He can type messages back. Um, you guys have me. I can reach out for uh, people if I need them to come in to answer any questions. So if you have a question, we will get it answered. If you want to talk strategy, we'll talk strategy. If you want to talk shorts, we got Mr. Short Pants himself, BTC Citadel in the house. Danny Mac! My boy is in the house. I love Danny Mac, man. Um, hey, guys, look. If you want optimism, if you want a positive attitude, if you want to look and find good companies, that's what I'm here to do, man. Okay, I'm here to help you find what's good. And then we can ride that fucking train together for, for as long as it rolls out there, right? Listen, I'm going to tell you this. Far too often in this industry, man, we have people that are actually fighting with each other all the time. These projects fight with each other, and my shit does this, and your shit's junk, and mine's the my utility's the greatest. Tell me when you've ever seen somebody come in a room and go, yeah, man, my, the name of my project is, uh, is dog shit, and uh, my utility sucks, and uh, it's never going to get any better, and I want you guys all to buy it because I want to make money on the tokenomics on the back. When somebody comes in and gives you that conversation in any form, you let me know, man, because, you know, that's never going to happen. Everybody's coming out. We got the latest. We got the greatest. We're the best. We're the fastest. Everybody else sucks. And when they start calling other people out by name, it starts really turning me off to who they are, especially when you have smaller companies that are calling out big name companies. I, dude, for some reason this week, people have been on, have been on a, I've seen people calling Shiva out like they don't know what they're doing. You know, oh, yeah, well, you know what? We're going to be bigger than Sheba, and Sheba ain't shit because Sheba is this, and we do that. Oh, hey, bullshit. You know, when, when, you, when you get there, let me know, okay? But don't sit and, You sound ridiculous. You sound ridiculous. I, this guy had a project that had, like, $4,000 of liquidity, and he's out there just railing Sheba like they're some piece of shit company. No, they're not a piece of shit company. They're a great company. They might have started with nothing, but they built that shit into a company. Every product works. I think Eternity is going to be great on the 6th. You have the Treat Reward token that's going to be out. And I would imagine they're going to release that the day before. Uh, it only makes sense. I can go into that when I come back. If I can get Matt in here real quick. Matt, are you here yet or no? All right. When, if I get Matt in here so that I can grab a quick break, um, we will come back. And when I come back, we'll talk all things Shiva to the absolute very best of my ability. Um, there's a lot going on with it. Eternity's coming out. Shibarium is coming out. Um, 
Treat is their new rewards token. It's coming. They also have another one. Shy is coming at some point in the future. We don't know when that's going to be. We'll be on Shy Watch. Know your utility value. <laughs> Danny Mac. D Mac. Hey, D Mac, I have enjoyed every minute of you uh, coming in, being in our spaces with us. Um, hey, you know what, man? I just figured something out, man. I told you guys earlier, man. Well, I might not have told you guys, man, but we're having a little family birthday party, family reunion over tonight, man. And, you know, I just had my nephew roll up in this motherfucker, man. And, you know, he's got some shit going on. He's got some rap. He's a freestyler. He has it together. Um, and, you know, at some point tonight, I think what I'm going to do is break open the mic. I'm going to give it to him, let him do his thing, and uh, give you guys a few minutes of what he's got going on, right? So... Uh, his name is uh, Anthony. I'll give you his name here in a few minutes that he uses online. He has a YouTube channel. You can follow Anthony over there, get a little exposure, and, uh, sing, you know, break out the monotony of some investing or whatever, man, you know? Yes. Well, you need to get some music in your brain to reset your attitude and get you going, man. Turn some music on. Listen to it. Anthony's dynamite. Even though he's my nephew, if he sucked, I'd tell him you fucking suck, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it obviously it doesn't suck. So, you know, I wouldn't, so I wouldn't set myself up for uh, failure. Uh, D-Mac, you got anything else that you want me to go over real quick before I see if I can uh, find Matt here? I'm going to take uh, one quick sec here, guys, and try and call Matt and see if I can get a quick break. And, again, I actually need it, man. I've got family in the house right now, and there's a couple of things I need to do before we continue. So if I can get Matt on and get a break, uh, I'll come back in again, and we'll talk everything Sheba. And, you know, I might have something else to talk to you guys about, too, man. I might have another little hidden surprise when I get back in there. So, anyway, Matt's phone's ringing right now. Matt is not answering. We'll get Matt to the phone. Or we'll get Matt into the room. We'll get a break for utility. I would hate to just leave dead air, man. You know, I kind of committed to this open form or whatever. Um, I know. Uh, there he is right now, man. Give me just one quick sec, guys. Hey, Matt, can you come give me a quick break? Thanks, buddy. I'm still alive, man. All right, you got it. Hey, guys, Matt says he'll be here in one minute. Sorry about that. I apologize. Kind of unforeseen coming. I knew we had a house full of people coming tonight. We were supposed to have our co in tonight. Uh, he had some personal things going on with his situation. And then when you try to find a co late uh, and get somebody like BTC Citadel in, I mean, guys, the guy invests at a tremendous level. Um, he needs his own time to invest, to work, to do the things that he has to do down there in Chile. You know, my man left sunny ass Miami to take his ass to Chile. And if you don't understand, man, I'm going to tell you, that's an investor, man, because he didn't go for any other reason other than, damn, he thought he could live down there for three cents a month. And <laughs> he might be right, though. I don't know. He, hey, this dude built a house and painted it Bitcoin orange. That, no bullshit. He painted his house Bitcoin orange. I mean, that is what I call commitment, my man. So, uh, hey, BTC, I know you're here. We'll be on later on on the regular air on Twitter tonight after we get off of YouTube. Um, we've got Matt coming in here in just a second. Alex, don't be a fool and stay in school, my man. I love that shit, man. Look, I'll tell everybody, as long as you want to come in here and listen, man, if you were going to be in this market, you better educate yourself. You better figure some shit out. And I'm going to tell you why. In plain English, because there's fucking sharks out here. they got a lot more money than you do. They want your money. They're fucking hungry. And if you make mistakes or you don't educate yourself, you think you're a big hot dog, ding a -ling and throw it in, they will eat you. And you know what? I've sat here for a year now, and I've watched people be eaten. I don't want you all to be eaten. We're going to keep you from being eaten if we possibly can. As soon as Matt gets in, we'll take a yo, break. Yo, yo, I'm going to come yo. back with all things yo, Shiva. Yo! Yo! What up, brother? What's up, man? I'm back. Uh, you need a little hey, break? Hey, bro. If I could... Look, i got a family reunion going on over here, too. So if you give me five or ten to just do the fam thing, I'll come back, and I, um, I'm going to break on to some Shiva, and i got a little bit of other news for him, so... Yeah, do your thing, bro. I'll be here. All right, man. I appreciate it. You had a couple people asking for you, too, by the way, man. So either they didn't like my voice, man, or they just love you. And I'm going to go with loves Matt's market just like I do. Yeah, it's all good. Matt. Cool, man. What's up, Chris Bugs? We got uh, Tris. What's up, Tris? Good to see you, man. Bulldog Trading dropping a $5. I'll make you holla. Super chat here. The trend on the X, uh, guy X on the mic is up. All right, cool. I'll make sure we uh, mess with the audio, man. Um, we got Chris Bugs in his pool. Shout out to my boy Chris Bugs. If you're still in here, guys, uh, Unique Carbon, Bitcoin Citadel, Daniel McMullen. What's happening, guys? Alex, uh, great to see you guys. So uh, what is happening tonight? Um, what do we have off the charts? We got Bitcoin trading at 19063 
We got the Fed meeting coming tomorrow. We started to dip below 18, 000, uh, 19,000 flat tonight. So uh, where are we going to end up? Uh, God only knows. But 18.9, if we see it again, we might hit a little bit lower, but we're trying to rally back right now. Uh, got a top coming up at 19,100 bucks. That's going to be resistance. Seems like a week ago, uh, we were all at 19,100 bucks. So we'll have to see what's happening. Appreciate your boy. Enjoy listening. Yeah, I think he'll be back, and I will be back on uh, live. Uh, probably around 8.30-ish. Um, so um, really appreciate him opening up the show for us, man. Uh, dude got some great knowledge, and uh, he's a cool cat. So hope you all enjoy him. Um, how you doing, Daniel McMullen? So we got Ethereum. Ethereum briefly dropped below uh, 1,300. That was a pretty good level of support, guys. So I'm not too happy about that. Everything's starting to set up for a little Sunday sell-off, kind of what we warned you guys about that's exactly what's happening. So we're just going to have to pay attention to the charting, and uh, hopefully everything starts to bounce back after the Fed comes out tomorrow. But there could be a surprise BPS hike in store for us tomorrow. So you really need to be paying attention to the Fed. I think he comes on at, um, uh, don't quote me, I think it's 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or maybe even noon. I need to double check on that. I will be posting that information here in the Discord. Um, but very good chance that... Um, he raises interest rates tomorrow. So <clears throat> let me see, see if I can pull it up. Okay. A lot of FUD right now. Uh, Fed meeting outcome could Powell surprise markets with a hundred basis point hike. The Federal Reserve uh, September meeting begins today. Oh, that was for September. When was this? Uh, September 20th. Um, That's not talking about the emergency meeting. Give me one second. Fed meeting. Let's see if I can get this pulled up. If, guys, if y'all just tune in, man, make sure to hit that like button. Drop uh, drop your boy a subscribe. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll get right now. Uh, crypto market braces for Fed talking tomorrow. Uh, and the meeting is set for Monday at 1130 Eastern Standard Time. So uh, make sure you're paying attention to the markets. If it's streamed on YouTube, I might be able to get it for us. But um, if not, we might just have to wait for the outcome. Um, but MSN, uh, a lot, a lot of the big news, uh, stations should be covering it. So we'll check it out. Um, but the, basically Marty Bent, uh, is saying the fed is calling for emergency meeting for Monday. They're sweating bullets over 7.5% CPI print and will most likely raise rates before the next meeting. So the only item on the agenda is inflation. So, uh, just make sure y'all guys are paying attention. I think that's why we're going to see a little bit of a sell-off. Heading into tomorrow morning, and who knows if it ain't too bad, we get a little pop. But emergency meeting that sounds kind of bad to me, so I think you're gonna see some selling off for the rest of the night. Um, so we got Ethereum under 1300, Shiba Inu 1098 dropping below that 1100, uh, 1100 with the four zeros in front as support. We got Dogecoin sitting just below six cents, where uh, you know, we're losing support lines across the board right now, guys, and we're starting to see some sell-off heading into Monday, so it's not looking too good. XRP, someone was asking me about XRP last night. I would say uh, I told him to wait probably 40, uh, 40 to 45 cents, and we are starting to hit in that area, guys, and, um, you know, we need to talk about it. Where are we going? The whole market's taking another leg down, so uh, not looking too good. Uh, hey, Mod's in the chat, man. If y'all could take care of that for me. Um, let me see if I can get to it. Uh, before, let me uh, delete these. You know, uh, you know, you're coming up in the world when you start to get the uh, chat 69 best of dating adult sites in your chats, guys. So uh, sorry about that. We took care of that for you. Um, so welcome to the show, guys. If you got any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll do my best to get your uh, questions answered. And then Cryptex will be back here shortly to continue doing another block rundown for you guys. XRP bottom um, 44 right now. So I'm watching at 44 and I'm eyeing at 43. Uh, so pretty much every single uh, number on the way down right now is going to be support for XRP, just the way the market's looking. So if you see a step down from 45, look for 44 as support again. You break that 43, possibly 40, uh, 42 cents. So uh, could be a little bit more pain in the market, guys, for tomorrow. Um, Bitcoin is not really doing too well. It's not uh, breaking through that 19,100. It just kind of uh, glimpsed it right here. So we're keeping a close eye on that to see what's happening there. And to see if we can possibly have a little breakout 
uh, back above 19200 bucks uh, tonight. So we're going to see if that happens. Um, I'm not optimistic, but I am hoping that we see some kind of price action to the upside before the Fed meeting tomorrow. So uh, let me know your thoughts and comments here in the uh, comments section. We'd love to hear from you guys if you are, uh, you know, what do you think about the uh, the Fed meeting tomorrow? You uh, hawkish, you bearish. What you, what you feeling, man? Let me know. I'm a little bit more bearish. I don't think it's a good thing. Anytime you call emergency, that's, you know, not good, you know. So I'm expecting some volatility tomorrow in the market. Um, remember, time in the market is not as important as timing the market. So <coughs> I think I just messed up that phrase. But it's all good, baby, because that's what we're here to do. Give you guys some TA and... um hang out so uh appreciate y'all tuning in tonight ftm 21 cents ethereum classic 26 bucks ape coin dropping to that five support level look for 450 if we keep dipping it always tends to hit that 450 mark which ends up being a good entry point uh, we got xrp 45 cents unit swap 627 let's move over to coin market cap kind of give you guys a quick update see what we're seeing off here off the charts um let me pull this up. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Ah, top 100 cryptos. Uh, big sea of red. Uh, what time is the Fed meeting, says Rick? It is 1130 Eastern Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so right on the money for you, brother. 1130 your time. Uh, BNB up slightly. Uh, let's see what else we got. What else? Big sea of red, guys. Not seeing any green the past 24 hours. Chills is down 10%. Taking a beating absolute beating um maker uh ticker symbol mkr is up four uh three and a half percent not looking too bad pancake swap up 1.69 percent not looking too bad let's see what else we got um, that's really it man there's not too much green in the market tonight and i wasn't expecting to have some because uh just with the way overall weight of the market coming down uh i pulled all my crypto out sitting on the side it says unique car uh unique carbon uh, waiting for the big dip only no uh neo and sofi uh, but we'll put that if i get a little bounce i got you man you watching it for a potential swing trade yeah hey keep it up man you might get some pretty good bounces here uh the market's definitely gonna get pretty volatile and really start picking up here uh so make sure you're paying attention um bit of else uh big bt citadel says uh that's the problem with lagging data and able to mitigate efficiently uh, there's data floating around everywhere right now, bro. Um, so, yes, you definitely have to be careful with what's going on and uh, make sure you're paying attention to what's happening in the markets, guys. The Fed is going to be running the show for the next day, so just make sure you're paying attention to that. Uh, let me see if I can get my webcam pulled in here. And, of course, I can't. So, uh, won't be on the webcam tonight, guys, um, unfortunately. Uh, but... I will have it back tomorrow, guys. Promise you that. Uh, what's up, Matt? Check uh, ERN. What's going on with the ERN, bro? Uh, is it ripping, dipping? Uh, is it something I should be investing in, FOMOing in? Uh, let me see what we got, man. Uh, ERN token. Um, Eternity. Is that what you're talking about? Down 1.38%, $3.60. Uh, yeah, it had a pretty nice pop here the other day. Um, got all the way to $4 from, uh, 161, um, within the last three months, past seven days. Okay. Um, that pop happened within the past seven days, excuse me. So yeah, man, I think that, I think that play is just, uh, kind of out there. So, um, I think that's done with just my personal opinion, bro. Um, so I wouldn't FOMO into that. That's like trying to catch a, um, fallen cat right there. Holy, what do we have going on here? Bulldog trading coming in hot with a five six dollar sixty nine cent to pay your rent. Super chat, you know, Gator don't play no ish. Thank you very much, Bulldog trading for that six dollar sixty nine cent to pay your rent. Super chat, my man. Thank you for showing that love, brother. Um, really do appreciate you. Uh, ready when you are. Hey, you can uh, come up Crypt X and grab the mic. And uh, guys, I'm gonna go go get these kiddos to. Uh, bed i gotta give them a bath and um they already fed i believe i gotta double check that but uh give me a few guys i'll be back on the mic crypt x is gonna hold it down for us um no that's not it uh i'll make sure to check it when i get back then crypto life um 
we'll make sure to look at it, bro. But hey, whatever one I just looked at, Eternity, it just popped in the last seven days, and it's looking beautiful. Uh, but I would not, and I mean would not, uh, FOMO into that one. ERN has a low float, of only 30 million circulating supply. Small caps in the building, bro. Um, feel free to come on up if you want to wrap it up with X uh, small caps. That's completely up to you, though. No pressure, brother. Uh, Bulldog is lurking. Make sure to check out Bulldog Trading, too, after this live podcast, man. We're going to redirect everyone to Bulldog Trading. Uh, continue to party on over there. Daniel McMullen, 1763. I'm going to have to pull it up, guys, when I get hey, back. Hey. Uh, Deso. Hey, what's up, X? Matt, what's man, going what's on? Going hey, Matt, man, I want to tell about Bulldog up. Trading. Thanks again, man, for the five bucks, man. I appreciate it. And, Matt, do me a favor. Take that five bucks Bulldog Trading through over. Throw that on Luna Classic for me, will you, brother? Gotcha, man. I'll, I'll make sure to uh, to put it on there. And uh, six dollars sixty nine cent. <laughs> that dude's dropping some crazy, uh, crazy number super chats. So yeah, Bulldog's a real good friend, man. Real uh, long term friend, man. So um, he's always over here supporting. He has his own YouTube channel. So that's uh, that's my fam. So X, I'm a, I'm gonna hand it off to you, bro. If you uh, get to go for a little bit longer, I'm gonna hurry up get these kids uh, situated. Uh, cause everybody knows I got uh, a bunch of kids running around this mug. So I'm going to go take care of them. If you got the mic, man, and, uh, just shoot me a message if you need some brother. I got the mic, man. Do me a favor, man. Try and pull small caps in here with us, man. I don't see them jumping in yet and I could really, really well, um, companies. Companies. small caps. If you're trying to hop into, uh, the live stream, all you have to do is enter in through that discord channel that we we're in yesterday. And uh, just enter the room with X, bro, and you will be live on the air. So just um, just letting you know if you're out there, man, if you can hear us, that's all you have to do to hop on the live stream, brother. Caps, uh, uh, welcome to the room. Hey, thank you very much again, Matt. Guys, if you haven't done it yet, please uh, smash the like and join button, subscribe. Um, hey, Matt is a fine analyst. Uh, he's a great guy. I'm proud to be here on his channel with him. Um, so give him some love. Give him some support, if you would, please. Also, over on Twitter, if you guys follow us over there, uh, Matt's got – we'll throw a little tease out. Matt might be showing up in the morning to do a little morning show with us a few days a week. So watch Yeah, I w- hey, I, I will be there tomorrow morning uh, to help you guys out. So, um, yeah, you can definitely count on me uh, to be there, man. So, um, look, Small Cap says he got you. He might be coming up. Uh, I'm out, guys, so I'll see you all here in a bit. Shoot you a text with the times. All right, guys, we got it back. It is X. Small caps is coming in. D Mac, one of my boys, is in the room. Unique carbon. That's my. Boy. Can you can't hear me? Wait, can I be heard? I just Somebody turned your uh, volume up, X. I uh, I had it down a little bit low. Um, so I, I did turn you back up. You should be good to go, brother. All right, let's uh let's holler out to Unique Carbon. Carbon, can you hear me, brother? See a message in the lobby. Oh, Danny Mac. Yeah, Danny Mac 2X, you low in volume. All right, well, I hope I'm not low in volume now. Can somebody just throw something up and tell me what the... we're good to go, Joey? Thank you, my brother. Thanks, thanks, thanks. All right, guys, look, uh, again, my name is CryptX, uh, Dr. X or X. That's what I go by. We have a lot of fun on these uh, shows. When Caps and myself broadcast, we break down companies. We look for good companies to invest in. We're looking for uh, we're looking for zeros if we can find them. We're looking for market caps to fit in with our program of what we do. Um, we're looking for billions of dollars behind us. We're looking for big partners, and we enter those in long situations. Um, we enter those where we know that we're looking at a 50x, 100x, 1000x possibility or better. Right? I came on here a few minutes ago. I gave you guys one that has a 10,000x uh, number that could be there. But, you know, be a little bit more prudent. Let's call it 5,000x. And it has a legit chance to hold uh, to hold 5,000x in its market cap. And it's going somewhere. It's coming to Coinbase this year. It's going to get a big jump when it does. It's on the Solana chain right now. Um, it's one of the first uh, SPLs to come over. So um, be watching for that one, right? I gave that one to you already. It's a great one. You'll, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be happy with the price that you've got it at. When is it going to go? When's it going to jump? Is it going to rise soon? I, I don't know. It's a long, and I'm not playing it for a short. I'm playing it for a 5,000x long, a 10,000x long or better, right? So, you know, it's not one of those I need to jump into. I don't need to go bury $10,000 in that. Why? Okay, look, I'm just telling you, man. I'm trying to enter positions and add layers to it as I go along. I'll add $100, $200. 
and add 100 200 dollars and add 100 200 dollars and that doesn't make me any difference i don't care whether i'm trying to go up to one thousand dollars ten thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars you guys heard this from me the other day i will take my time coming into every investment i'm coming in and i will never ever ape in okay i come in slow i don't want the line to move i want the line to stay stable why is that because you ever notice when you ape into one and that big green candle goes up and you feel really good about yourself until you see that immediate red candle that goes next to it understand that this this place is heavily bought controlled out here and there are sell downs that they're looking for right they're going to automatically sell off at points so if you know let's just say that you waited three days and you're looking for a great entry point you find your great entry point and then you ape it in and you get that big red candle that comes up next to you guess what you just started 30 percent in the hole because those bots are going to hit you for about 30 percent so your buy that you waited three days for just went to shit with your 30 percent down when you could have just Taking your time, kept the price the same, moved it in, moved it with the line. If the line was going down, great. If it was going up a little bit, just keep going with it slow. You know, never get FOMO, never get in a hurry, right? Don't break your game plan and go steady. And you'll see nice 45 returns. And then you will see your moonshots, man. You will see the ones that come from nowhere to somewhere and they become somebody. Look, we had a, more than a few of them last year, okay? Um, we, we did well on, on, on smaller ones because we look for good companies. I'm not listening for somebody to tell me what the cutest doggy on the cutest coin is. I'm just not. I don't want to hear about your great utility until I've heard everything else. I want to know all about your company. I want to make sure your company to me is investable. If your company is investable, then tell me about your latest, greatest, world-changing, life-changing utility like every other company out here does. Okay, that's why we get to utility last, very, very, very last. Um, again, Caps and myself, we'll get into it more. We'll talk to you about where we find them at at some point. Yeah, you know, we're not going to give you everything we do. You can find us over on Twitter. Um, we'll give you some stuff here. We'll uh, show you a few plays, and uh, you've got our list over on Coin Market Caps, so you can follow us anytime. Caps, are you in with me yet or no? I can't look over and tell if I've got you with it. Looks like you're with me, but if you're here, I can't hear you. So is your mic off or? How about now? You Caps, me? whenever you can come. I got you now. I got All you perfect. Right. Guys, welcome. Uh, please welcome Small Caps 101. What's up, guys? Hanging out with CryptX, I see. Try to break down these companies for you, so help research show you what we do you know coming from a stock perspective over to the crypto side of the house so that's what we do we try to analyze break down companies and that's what we're looking for companies something that's going to be around the while absolutely that's how we start from the ground floor tonight i wanted to bring caps in a little bit i wanted him to try and talk about two things that he knows fairly well he's fairly well versed in um uh, caps if i could give this to you for 10 or 15 man and you could tell them about or you know however long you need brother and you can tell them about luna classic and you can tell them about dog elon if you could uh, tell them what you know there we can go and then uh, again i promised them all things shiba when i come back so after you get those in we'll go to all things shiba small caps go ahead brother yeah, so um, let's start out with Luna Classic. I, I think Luna Classic could potentially hit a penny. That's just my opinion. And you just got to take it and look at it from the market cap perspective. But they're going to have to burn down a lot of that supply. So if you're looking at six trillion coins, it would take six trillion dollars to get it to a dollar. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. It's going to take a little while. So with the burn and being realistic, yeah, I think it could probably get down to about $3 trillion in circulating supply. The coin could probably hit a $20 billion market cap and then potentially break that $0.01 cent mark. But like the $1, yeah, I don't see that happening for quite a few few years, in my opinion. Because you got to remember, in the hype of the bull market, when Shiba came up, Shiba and uh, those were competing with each other, and they flipped each other a couple of times. And when that happened, they were both sitting right around the $45 billion market cap each. And the height of uh, Dogecoin was about $85, $86 billion at its all-time high. So can it happen again? Absolutely. Because I know Shiba sitting around $7, 8000000000 billion, and so is Doge right now. So that's only about $16 billion in them, in them two coins combined. And, you know, take $90 million, 45 each, minus the $20 billion, between the two now, there's 70 million or 70 billion dollars out there still to be uh, had by some of these tokens, right? Once this bull 
comes back into play. But right now we're, you know, looking at the bear market, everything's down. So in my opinion, this is time to load up. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, as far as dog alarm, a lot of people don't know about uh, dog alarm. And the Methuselah Foundation, the Methuselah Foundation um, got donated 423 trillion tokens. They haven't sold any yet. They came out with their uh, amicus paper where they talked about 3.14 pi. Okay, that was last year on pi day they came out. And uh, they made a uh, claim that they're only going to sell off uh, 3.14 of the max supply per year. So... And that's year over year, and that'll last like 939 years. And another thing people don't know about uh, Doug on Mars is that the liquidity pool is locked up in Uniswap, and nobody has access to that liquidity. So every time a trade is made on Uniswap in that particular liquidity pool, 0.3% of each transaction gets relocked into that pool. So essentially raising the floor over time. So when you put them two catalysts together, yeah, I think, uh, you know, it, it can run up again. Do I think it can eat a zero? Absolutely. I already ate, you know, one of them. Do I think it can eat two more? Very good possibility it can get in that four zero range. But we'll see. They have some delays on their NFTs. And uh, a lot of people don't like the fact that the, uh, the, the, you know, development team over there doesn't speak a lot. So that's, a, that's, what, that's what I have on them, too. As far as Shiba Inu, we're looking at the uh, news on Shiba. Right, coming in uh, sixth. We'll see how that all plays out with the game. So, and how it's going to work with Bone. Maybe they'll drop Shibarium, and maybe we'll have some kind of burn utility going along with them too, or that one as well. If you guys got any questions, please throw it in the chat. I, I, I you know, I can actually see. Oh, Doge going to the moon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Doge. I like Doge. Don't get me wrong. Every time Elon uh, tweets about it, you always get a good pop on that. Uh, Dogecoin. So, but one thing about Doge is it's a uh, inflationary token, meaning that supply is always being added. So about 15 billion Dogecoin per year is mined and uh, added to the pool for circulating supply. And I know X shared a little bit about uh, our watch list over there. So we do a coin market cap. We we, we got a couple of different watch lists that we do. We do a uh, market rundown on all these companies and. Uh, you know, talk about the price and where we think it's gone and what kind of utility they got and who they're associated with, who their partners are, et cetera, et cetera. Now, when we talk about investing in these things, what we do is we look at it from a perspective of can we get a 10x, 100x, 1,000x, right? Sometimes we can find 10,000x potentials in there, but you really got to pay attention to that market cap. And if you go over to coin market cap and you actually look at it, since you open coin market cap up, it gives you the top 100 cryptos right out the gate. And right now you're looking at number 100 is binary, binary X, BNX. It's uh, market cap right now is $314 million. Well, in the hype of the bull market last year, we were looking at a billion dollar market cap just to break the top 100. So, Imagine that one going three times. So that's a 3x potential, right? But what we're looking for is something in that $30 million range, right? That can actually 10x to get to the 300 and then do another 3x on top of that. It'll give you a 30x. So 30 million at 1 billion will give you a 30x. And then at 1.5 billion, that'd be a 50x. So I like to look at, uh, and X does too, we like to look at uh, market caps in the range of, 1.5 million all the way up to about 30 million, right? That's the ones we really, really try to filter out. And then uh, if you look at the tabs on CoinMarketCap as well, you can see if you go into the cryptocurrencies, it'll give you the ranking and re recently added. So you can really look at that and see which ones are coming out and which ones they actually just threw on the blockchain. And as you look at them, look at their market cap, keep the market caps in mind, and then dig through them, right? Are they honest with their information? Is it a potential rug tool or rug pool? You got tools out there to look at that. Uh, token Sniffer is one of them. You can copy the contract address. Oh, and uh, throw it in a um, token sniffer and it'll give you a 
a, a score, right? Some of them have 50, some of them have 100. It'll tell you if the liquidity is locked. It'll tell you if it has a, you know, a tax on it, a buy and sell tax, because sometimes you have buy and sell taxes. You really got to pay attention to that. Uh, I see people talking about the chat right now, looking at Diesel. They said Diesel is down to 1751. Gaz, uh, yeah, Gasser will be here next. Check him out on YouTube. That's what X said. Yeah, Dizo was a very, very smart play. We we uh, we talked to Daniel. Daniel brought it to our attention. And I mean, hey, it's been running ever since. So if you guys don't know about Dizo, be sure to check that one out. But yeah, back to the recently added, right? So you can go back. You know, you can go to the new newly added cryptos. You can see what blockchains they trade on, and uh, you know. Look at that. See what blockchains they trade on. Dig through the white paper. Dig through the tokenomics. Dig through the utility. I always use, we always use the utility last. Like we have a nine step process that we do. We we look at the market cap. Does it have a potential to be a hundred x, thirty x, fifty x? Right. We like to look at the uh, twenty four hour volume. Has it been tradable? Is the circulating supply that they're reporting is that actually up to date? And then you look at the max supply, right? Because if you got quadrillions of tokens out there, kind of like some of the other projects, I'm not really going to name too many of them off. Uh, well, I'll throw one out there. Maybe those are like 400 quadrillion. Like, that's crazy. 400 quadrillion coins. Yes, if they eat some zeros, you're going to be in some money. However, the likelihood of them eating a whole bunch of zeros is slim to none. Because it would take trillions of dollars actually just to get you know, just to get up to the uh, market cap of, we'll just say, SHIB, right? It would take billions of dollars for them to do it and eating billions of zeros. And you have too many paper hands because too many people got too many shares. So I like to look at tokens and coins that actually have a lower circulating supply. I like the number one trillion and below. I do like Shiba Inu. I do like Do Dogalon Mars. So just keep that in mind. And I also like. Dogecoin, they, they are the three top meme coins. They, they, they've been there for a while. And now, now they got competition with Luna Classic. And you implement the burn mechanism in them with Luna Classic, I mean, it can go parabolic. I mean, it's just a matter of time. So what you guys got in the chat here? What we got, X? Down from $6 and entry at 1089 this show on Friday. Yeah, so if you looked at the show on Friday, $6 was the entry in this. 1089. That's not, up to 10, 1089. That's not bad at all. <clears throat> what y'all want to talk about? Throw, throw, throw me a uh, company in there. We'll we'll talk about it a little bit. And when are you gonna bring your uh, nephew on there to raps? X. I'm waiting on this rap battle. Twitter spaces just died. So yep, you gotta load that back up. Hey, uh, Caps, glad that you brought me back in. Hey, so uh, listen, my nephew, right, um, he just dropped an album, man. He's actually the real deal, y'all. I put a couple of links in there, man. I put a couple of songs in there from him. Uh, Stressing, I think, is a song that uh, most people like, man. Um, it's pretty cool, man. I like his uh, original song, or I like I Am Gasser. It's a pretty cool song. So check out some music from him. I've got him over here this evening. Going to drop him the mic here in a little bit and uh, bring him in. Also, want to get uh, Jasmine. Hey, uh, watch Jasmine to the floor there, Rick. To the floor. Goodbye, short. You know, that's an opinion, but, you know, to the fucking ground. I, I think, I don't know if it rug pulls all the way down, but it goes down a ways, man. So, I, I don't know, man. Zero, zero long uh, thoughts when it comes to Jasmine right there right now. Sheba. <clears throat> Sheba is breaking out Sheba Eternity uh, in a few days. That's going to be on the 6th. Uh, also, look for the Treat uh, token to come out uh, from them right around that same time. That's going to be their rewards token. Uh, looking at a little bit of news today, though. Assessing the hype around Luna Classic. If Coinbase Robinhood listings go through, the first paragraph, that's from uh, ambcrypto.com. Terra Luna Classic is trending once again as it aggressively continues its recovery journey on the charts. In fact, the cryptocurrency is off to a hype start this month on the back of the Luna Classic community pursuing a Coinbase listing. Interestingly, the Lunk community uh, just concluded another aggressive campaign. Um, look, uh, they're talking about Binance and the other one. I, I don't read the whole articles, guys. I just give you the, uh, the basis of them. If you want to check that one out, go over to AMB Crypto and look at them. 
Um, <clears throat> lots of good articles, right? We keep on top of all the crypto news. We do this 24 hours a day. Um, we search all the news for all the companies. We are on top of everything XRP. If you look on my page at Twitter, there's a complete timeline on XRP with everything from the court filing and um, every document filed, all of the dockets. I mean, those are all on my page. So if you want to research or follow anything, we can do that. Uh, what do we got here? We have a piece of XRP news right here. XRP airdrop incoming. Flare outline schedule for long-awaited Spark FLR token giveaway. That's from DailyHodl.com. So, you know, we'll go over there and take a look at that one in a little bit. <clears throat> the uh, first paragraph. Flare is hinting that its long-awaited Spark Flare token airdrop to XRP holders is just around the corner with a new announcement to validators. The company notes in a new schedule that validators can now onboard to the Flare network. Flare also said it is currently working to onboard crypto exchanges to ensure the airdrops go well. Awesome. Hey, look, we love XRP. I am an XRP fanatic. I know everything about the company. I've watched it for eight years. Y'all, I've been in the space for a long time. I came in with Bitcoin and Ethereum first. Um, I kind of held back and was still a stock exchange investor until about three years ago when I came into this full time, maybe four years ago now. I'm not sure, man. I lose track of time when you, you know, when it is, I'm getting older. I don't know. But, um, you know, I love XRP. I know everything about the company. I understand the lawsuit. Uh, I understand that this is some more of the government's bullshit because they're not getting their cut of the back end um, of cryptocurrencies at this point. They would like nothing better than to have full on regulations so that they can get their cut. If you don't think the government wants their cut, we need to have a really, really serious talk because uh, that's what it's about. All the CDBC talk that you're seeing, the stablecoin talk, the you know, the government regulation of crypto talk. Look, it about boils down to one thing. The government wants their fucking cut. Right, Caps? I don't know if you're still with me or not, man. But, you know, hey, that's just kind of the way it is, man. The government gets their money. They're all happy. Everything's good to go. The government doesn't yeah. get their money. They, they need to come in and make some changes to shit, right? I'm just saying if you're I'm, with me, Caps. Yeah, I'm still with you. And absolutely, the government's going to get their money one way or another. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, did you did you get a chance to uh, go through uh, Dog Elon and through? Um, uh, yes, I did. Uh, Classic. Yep. Okay, Talked brother. a little cool, bit man. about them. If you would do this, man, look, guys, I put a, a couple of links in there, man. If you want to check out Gasser over on YouTube real quick, so you know what you got coming, go over, click one of those links. Uh, they're safe. I sent them. Um, I, I hope they're safe. I sent them. So. Um, uh, Gasser is awesome. He uh, His music is dynamite. I'm going to have him here in the next five minutes. So if I can get small caps to take this for five minutes, we'll come back. I'll put Gasser live on the mic. Uh, he can do a little bit of music. We'll break up the monotony. In the meantime, while Gasser's on, guys, if you guys want to throw up some uh, things you want to talk about, you want to throw some companies out there, you want Caps and I to break something down, somebody brought up Eternity um, and wanted to talk about that. When Matt came on, Matt was talking about it basically in the short sense I took it as in the day trade sense. But, you know, Authority is actually a company that really needs to be looked at deeper. Um, there's some things to talk about there. Um, so if uh, you're an Authority investor and you would like to uh, talk about Authority, you want to break that down a little bit, you want Caps and myself to go through it, we can do that. So uh, Caps, if you're ready, I'm going to give it to you for five minutes and then I'll be back with Gasser when I come back. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take it for a little bit. Uh, I know somebody had in the chat. Somebody had in the chat about uh, Jasmine. I will talk about Jasmine a little bit. Okay, so here's the problem, Rick. Their their self-reporting circulating supply. They said that they got. I want to say. Let me look at it again. It is thirty. Let's see what it says on Coin Market Cap under the blue check. So it's a verified verified data circulating supply is four billion seven hundred fifty four million. Is what coin market cap is reporting however this the company's reporting a self circulating supply of 30 billion 800 million okay if that's the case if it's 30 billion 800 million then we're looking at about uh uh let's see that be about 70 78 percent of, of the uh max supply that would be in circulation so that means that very well could be that they've been putting out tokens OK, they could have been pumping out tokens and that's why the price been like tapering off. But what we need to find is the tokenomics, how long the lockup period was and what is the true circulating supply. So once we can find that information, we could have more of a take on what Jasmine's doing over there. Because if you know, if they're, if they're up to 30 billion circulating supply, then they only got a little bit left and they got about 22 
Well, actually, yeah, 20 or it'd be 19, 19 billion, 200 million is all they would have left. So that's not too bad on that, you know, just a little under 20 percent remaining. But it's, it looks to me like they diluted the company with more more tokens over this downturn that we have taken over the last six months just by looking at the chart and what they had for circulating supply versus what they're reporting to have put out right now so now could be the time to enter that jasmine if you still believe in it right because it was on a downturn and you only got 20 percent of the circulating supply remaining out there but we got to find the true circulating supply before i honestly personally take a position on that one but Jasmine seems to be a decent company, in my opinion. What else we got? Okay. That was Rick. Let me see what else you guys got. That's Rick Coggs. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, so Rick Coggs as well. Well, nice to meet you, Rick. Stream last. Please remember to like and share. Okay. Yeah, I'm new to this guy, so, you know, really don't talk much on YouTube, but I'm willing to break down and help you guys out with what I can help out when and where I can. But I want to just give a, a little bit of information out and in how early you are in the crypto space. So if you take um, Apple's market cap right now, Apple sits at a $2.2 trillion market cap. The whole entire crypto industry right now is just sitting at a one I'm sorry, one trillion dollar market cap, and Apple is a 2.2 trillion dollar market cap. So Apple is bigger, 2.2 times bigger than the whole entire crypto space right now. And uh, with that being said, if you can find decent companies that are going to be around that you think are going to be around a while in the crypto space, then you're on the forefront of like. The modern day stock market is what I would call it because you got to look at all these kids transitioning from D Gen, you know, all the way up to 40, 50 years old. All these kids are starting with computers nowadays. So they're easily going to be evolving towards crypto. Okay, the traditional stock market, yeah, it'll still be around, but it's going to be a dying breed, in my opinion. So if you can find good companies, solid companies to invest in early, and you're going to be around in this game a while. Yeah, you'll be, uh, I think, winning long term. XLM, yes, I have a big bag of XLM. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, that's stellar XLM. And uh, they get a circulating supply of 50 billion, or yeah, 50 billion, right around 100,078. It's a change. So their circulating supply right now is 25.48 billion. So they get about 50% out. But if you look at X, XLM's chart and you go all the way back, XLM been around a while. XLM been around about eight years, guys. So they have, yes, they have put uh, more coins out in the market, but they have done it over an eight-year period. So their token release to the ecosphere, right, is what has maintained their value along the way, okay? Because if they just threw them all out there right now, the chart will be trash, but it's not. They're releasing them slowly. They're being methodical with how they're spending their money over there in that company. So I think XLM is going to be around a while. And then, uh, you know, you, looking at it, the market cap right now is uh, $3 billion. Do I think it can get up to 10, 15? Absolutely. Because uh, at the end of the day, XLM is its own blockchain. And that's why it's considered a coin, not a token. And it's an open source, you know, network. So people, a lot of people like the open source. So I do like, I, I like that one, Rick. What's going on, Caps? Well, we were just talking about uh, XLM. Rick brought up XLM, and I was telling him why I liked it. And uh, a little bit it. about it. I mean, they've been around, mm -hmm. you know, eight years, man. And, uh, you know, they've been smart with how they, you know, have their tokens released into the ecosystem. They're at 50% circulating the supply. The stock market? No, it's a YouTube live stream. I you're talking from.
X, are you still there? All right, well, you cut out. I, 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 I am here, bro. Do you got me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, Caps, what's going on, brother? Hey, uh, XLM, I love it too, man. Are you done with XLM? We about uh, ready to bring Gasser in, or you uh, need a few more yeah. minutes? Yeah, you can bring him in. Go ahead. All right, y'all. Uh, gonna give me about uh, 10 seconds to get him switched over onto a mic here. Please welcome my nephew. He's known as Gasser. He just dropped his first album. I threw you guys a couple of links in there into the... Um, uh over into the chat so if you want to go over and hear what he's about you can he's coming on he can freestyle he can do all kinds of shit so uh give me about 15 seconds and please welcome gasser to the room here he comes what's up gasser what are you doing man hey nice to meet you x we are out here uh at Matt's Market, it's very nice to be here. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of your live stream you got going on here. We got everybody out here. Shout out to Small Caps. Thank you so much for letting me uh, be a part of what you guys got going on. Yeah, have you seen uh, the my music video? I am has been in the chat. My music video stressing has been in the chat. Yes, I uh, I definitely just dropped an album. However, it's not my first. It's my first to hit the mainstream. I got a couple of features on there. If you've ever heard of E40, I've worked with a lot of artists that have worked with him, Saul Salino, Rucci, uh, GB. Um, I'm down to freestyle. I'm not sure if we have any beats on deck or if I'm just going a cappella, but it's very, uh, very easy to make whatever happen happen. Um, let's see here. Hey, uh, Small Caps, you got music you can bring in? Can you throw some beats in there for uh, Gasser? Yeah, I would have yes. to figure that out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know exactly how to put it on there. Sure, but sure. I do well, have... that's, all, that's all good. Sure, sure. Yeah, if y'all want to hear me freestyle, I'm, hop I'm happy to do it a cappella. Uh, Small Caps is saying he's not able to get his hands on a beat, but that's okay. I'm willing to talk about whatever. Uh, yeah, Dr. X will be here as well, so be prepared for that. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. I can go off of the dome. Let's see here. Uh, got some crypto company names. Okay, let's see here. Key, Rare, Ray, Ring. Oh, these are all crypto names. Okay, these are all. Okay, so I've just been handed a list of names that I can freestyle to. Um, they're in alphabetical order, so I'll have to hop around to see what rhymes. Okay, uh, let's see here. The first one I see is cake. Cake is also a phrase we use in the rap community for money, so I'll start with that. You already know I'm out here taking the cake. I'm out here with the crypto, so you know it ain't fake. I'm with the new company, they're calling it near. But my raps are something you'll be wanting to hear. I got jazz and flux and flow, but you already know that I'm about to go to the store with my Sheba. You know I got the dog or the Dogecoin, whatever you say, y'all. It's a baby Doge, baby Sheba. We out here learning all the different things for new believers. Yes, sir. No beat. So I'm going a cappella with the ripple and the avalanche. You know, I make it triple every time she dance and I'm making all these bands. I got hella bank. You know, I'm going straight out of the tank because this is pure fuel and I'm your boy Gasser. I'm not the master, but I'll do it a little faster than Cube. Shout out to Cube, y'all. Shout out to Rage. Everybody in the live stream, I appreciate you guys. Rick Cogswell, Citadel, Small Caps. Very nice to be here. My album is called Noble Part 2, N-O-B-L-E, Part I. I. My name is Gasser. So you can find me on any streaming platform, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, uh, everything. Um, yeah, oh, Instagram, social media. I don't have Twitter, but I do have Instagram. It's uh, at Gasser Noble, G-A-S-S-E-R underscore N-O-B-L-E. Very nice to meet you guys. I'm happy to be here, Matt's Market. Uh, Dr. X will be here shortly. Small caps, take it away. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good jumping in there with them crypto names. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> that's awesome. Good job, man.
All right. So uh, back to some crypto. So I see, uh, yeah, EOS. Yeah, I like EOS Force. I do. EOSC. That's the ticker name. And, you know, with a two, $2,569,000 market cap, that thing, that thing, Rick, it has the potential to blow, man. And when it does, it could potentially be 100x out there, brother, in my opinion. That's just my opinion on it. I and it's his own core opinion caps. What you got X on EOC I got, I, or EOS? I mean, I, I, yeah, oh, I love them. Jesus yeah, Christ, so do I. I mean, what, I I mean, mean we're talking about blue chip, dude. We've been through that one many a times, you and I. Yeah, e EOS has the real potential to be a blue chip. I mean, that's all there is. If it's not even, if it's not considered one already, I, I don't know. I mean, she's been around a while, man, so a few years. The only bad part about that one, you can only get it on KuCoin. So, Caps, I don't I don't think that's a negative, to be honest with you, man, because, you know, a lot of times when something isn't for sale out there in a lot of places, right, it's not getting play from all the people who want to get in and buy it. On EOS, though, it's available in a ton of markets, if I'm not mistaken, right? I only have it listed on KuCoin, so... Let me jump over here into coin market cap real quick. I'll pull up the markets. Uh, it should be everywhere. Here we go. We've got, uh, yeah, it is caps. We've got Binance, Coinbase, Coin One, KuCoin, BitThumb, Binance. Those are the first six on the first page. Uh, then we jump down and it's in, uh, oh my God, it's in 100 markets. Yeah, it's got 100 markets cap. High availability on this as far as the markets go. I was going to say when they're when they're not in very many markets, I like being into them at that point. Because when they get picked up in the new markets, they grow and they continue to grow as they go on. So, well, like the that, one, uh, the X, the one I was specific, the one I was specifically talking about, brother, was EOSC. Oh, uh, not EOS. I thought you were talking about EOS. Yeah. I was going to say that's a blue chip, brother. I mean, I think it's considered yeah, that. E now that I look at it, it's number forty-four. So, yeah, yeah, EOSC. Bro. Okay, EOSC. EOS Force is what you're talking about. Yeah, you pulled up here. E I got e it, man. Yes. Force. Right, it right, like right. I got sports. it up right now. Hey, quick question, man. Did you guys like Gasser, man? How was it with uh, Gasser in the room, man? Did uh, Was that cool? or? Yeah, it was pretty cool. I think if we would have had him a beat, right? If I, you know, if I knew he was coming on earlier, I could have probably tried to set something up. Yeah, what well, you I? know what the good news is for you, Caps, is uh, Gasser is going to be with me this evening. When we transition over and we hand this thing off to Matt, we're going to break back over to uh, YouTube Spaces. I'm not sure that Caps is going to stay with us, but Gasser is going to be with us, and we'll be able to drop him a beat in there. We'll give him some exposure over there, get his name out, get Noble out, uh, get him going. Look, he might be my nephew, I told you guys, but if he sucks, he fucking sucks. I don't think he sucks. I like the music. I listen to it. So uh, I appreciate you guys taking a minute and listening to Gasser for me. Caps, let me give it back to you, man, on the EOSC for a minute while I uh, take a break. I'm going to take a quick look at this thing. I'll be back in about uh, two or three minutes. Yes, e EOS Force. X and this right now is sitting at a two million five hundred and sixty three dollar market cap. I mean, I've looked at this one before. Yeah, you know, you know I got it up in front of me, and I don't see any red flags at the first look caps. That's why I want to kind of dig into it and, and see what what this thing uh, what this thing looks like. I, I like that it's a coin. I can tell you that. It, yeah, I know you do, and it only has one billion supply. Yeah, absolutely. All right, man, I'm going to tear into this. I'm going to look at it for a few caps. I'm going to give it back to you to keep this audience entertained. Give drop some alpha on them so they make some money and they want us to come back, man. I bet if everybody in here is making money, they'll they'll invite us to come back. What do you think, caps? Well, are we all really going to make money when Bitcoin's probably going to go off a cliff tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> only if you're if you listen only to if you're BT BTC Citadel over there, you will. Yeah. Right. BTC Citadel. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll short short the whole market down <laughs> i know he's probably down there listening to him yeah but anyway so yeah i like eos c the main net I, I do I, I like that one rick so thanks for pointing that one out again i think she'll be a winner in the in the future it just takes time man once everything bounces back i think that one about be a big bouncer two million dollar market cap i mean just throw a hundred x on that and you put it in the two hundred million dollar range right there. Could it be a ten thousand? Yeah, I mean, if they bring the A game, anything's possible. It could be a ten thousand X. Throw a hundred bucks on her. Can you imagine that ten thousand X on a hundred bucks? That'd be a nice payday, Rick. 
I'll be able to come back here and give uh, Matt a bunch of super chats. Terra Luna Classic gains big as Binance burns untold tokens, right? So, yeah, we really haven't known the numbers of uh, exactly what Binance has burned. That's supposed to be released on Tuesday, from what I understand. And we'll see exactly how many they burned. But I, I'm kind of I'm kind of interested to see that, right? I want to know exactly what they burnt. I mean, there's speculation out there of how much has been burnt, but we don't know the true numbers yet. Once they release that, I think uh, I think we'll see a little pump on that one as well. But I got me a little bag of Terra Luna Classic. I bought it, you know, when it started falling off the cliff back there when they liquidated $45 billion out of that thing. I started picking some of it up, you know, see what, what happens. I mean, there's a lot of hype around it right now. So it's the next thing on a hype train. That may be another reason why you're going to see some of these other uh, – Meme coins such as Doge, Shiba, a couple other ones out there, right? They may take a little, or maybe, you know, maybe have a little pullback because you get a lot of attention on Terra Luna Classic right now. So you got to remember a lot of money is going to be flowing towards that one versus the others just because of the hype. And we'll see how it plays out after the sixth. Because right now, I mean, the two biggest ones you're hearing about Shiba, right, with the uh, game release on the sixth, and then Terra Luna Classic, of course, with the burn. So. Just have to keep an eye on both of them. And Shiba right now is at 11.02, trading at 11.02. What I'm going to do is give you guys a quick board rundown. I'd like to do that as well. Pull this watch list up. I wish I was sharing my screen with you guys, but that's fine. We'll do that, we'll do that next time. This is our uh, second time on here right now. So Bitcoin's coming in at $19,092. Ethereum coming in at 1,281. XRP, a fan favorite, 45.33. Ada Cardano, 42.24. Solana, sitting at 32.17. Dogecoin, 5 cent, 9.56 on Dogecoin. Polymatic, 76 cent, 75. Shiba, you know, we just talked about that. Four zeros, 11.02. Chainlink, you know, there was a lot of information coming out there to Chainlink. Is working with Swift. We'll see how that all plays out. Seven dollars fourteen cent. XLM coming in. We just talked about that, Rick. Eleven ninety nine. Stellar XM XLM eleven ninety nine. Chronos eleven cent on the money. Uh, Terra Luna Classic three zeros thirty two eighty seven. She pulled back a little bit. I mean, as, of course, that's because Bitcoin's teetering that line about nineteen thousand right now. Internet computer. I like that one as well. Five dollars ninety two cent. ApeCoin, $5.04. HBAR, that's another one I like, Rick. I, I do. I really like HBAR. That said, uh, $0.05, cent, six, five, four. Mana, the original Metaverse, $0.68, cent, zero, three. Tezos, $1.38. Usually trades around $1.44. Clayton coming in at $18.86. FTM, that's Phantom, $0.21, cent, 86. IMX is $0.74.8. Dogalar Mars, that's six zeros, two forty-five, and then I got uh, Tectonic. Everybody likes Tectonic. That's also coming in at six zeros. It's about to add another zero, one zero five three. Now, see, I'll, I'll touch on Tectonic and I'll touch on VVS a little bit because a lot of people like to trade them too. Well, here, here was the issue with that. If you go to their white paper, you pull up their tokenomics, and I want you to look at their time release chart they have a time release chart on vvs and they also have a time release chart on um tectonic okay so when you go in there it'll have a flow chart as to how much coin is going to be coming into circulation all right because they had a lot of them locked up and they start releasing them a little bit year over year over year and the longer that company goes on them two companies go on in particular the less they will release over time so just keep that in mind with Tectonic and uh, VVS. X, am I still live? Am I uh, am I still live for you guys?
Yeah, what's going on with small caps, my man? Are you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was talking about VVS and Tectonic. Daniel, yes, uh, you know, they bring the value up. They'll bring the value up on VVS and uh, Tectonic. When you have less in circulating supply, right? Yeah, that does raise the value. That's why you have the difference between uh, market cap and fully diluted market cap. So the current market cap is how many tokens are in circulating supply versus the price action. And then you have fully diluted market cap. That is all your tokens that could ever exist times the price. Hey, X, you got some banging going yeah, on over there, bro. Me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, that. you can hear that. Yeah. Sorry about that. Hey, I was wondering if you could even hear me, man. I wasn't sure if I was in or not in, man. What's going on, brother? Yeah, I actually lost a live chat on my stuff. But I was talking about VVS and Tectonic and uh, in, in a token release schedule. So check them two out. And then the other one I had on there was a good driver reward token. That's on the Kronos blockchain over there. That's currently sitting at nine zeros five eight four three, and uh, I like GDRT. They have an app out. If you drive safe, you get rewarded in crypto. So check that one out. That's on a Kronos blockchain. You know, none of this is financial advice. We're just here to talk amongst ordinary people, amongst ordinary things. So market cap goes down when they burn. No, market cap will go up. If if people burn the token, right? Here's a, here's a problem. If you burn a token and the demand remains the same, then yes, the, the market cap will go up. However, if demand is, is not constant, then the market cap will go down. What's up, X? No, I'm sorry, man. I thought you were done, man. Go ahead, finish. No, go ahead. No, I, I was answering Daniel out there. Guys, I thought I'd throw this out to everybody in the room, okay? Uh, we talked a little bit about this the other day. I don't know if you guys heard it or didn't. Um, Caps and myself, we do the media for uh, for one of the uh, companies that's uh, just starting out over on Twitter. Uh, we met them there. We now represent the company. We believe in psychotic token. Um, so I'm just going to tell you, if you're in the room right now, you're listening, you hear my voice. If you do not own any psychotic token, if you will come to Twitter and message either small cap or myself, uh, with a Kronos wallet address, we will put some psychotic tokens in your wallet. We're on a drive right now to increase the number of wallets investing in psychotic. He is a great guy. He's very trustworthy. You can believe in him. He's got a great, uh, few great NFT lines, actually. Uh, big plans, um, a token in the early stages, you might do really well. But you know what? Uh, I'm not asking you to buy anything. I'm telling you, we'll give you a few. If you don't have them, message one of us over at uh, Twitter. Message either at smallcaps101 or message me at cryptx only that's got a weird spelling to it c-r-y-p-t-x-x-n-l-y that's me over twitter uh like follow myself and small caps over there and like i said if you don't hold psychotic we'll give you a few tokens also if you haven't done it already here on matt's market please smash the like button smash the join button smash the subscribe button don't miss a broadcast because you know what dude i dig matt you know we we met a while ago. We think similarly. We um, and uh, we've become good friends. I feel fortunate uh, to have a friend of Matt's caliber that is an excellent analyst um, and just a really good guy at the same time. My broadcast partner, Small Caps, I think the world of as well. And I appreciate uh, everybody that's coming in to listen tonight. Caps, I'm going to give it back to you for a couple of minutes. I'm going to send Matt a message. I think he's about to come on, Caps. So uh, let me give it to you for the room. I'll go over and try and find Matt. And then again, after we're done, guys, we're going to head over to Twitter. We'll have Gasser back. We'll have Crypto back. BTC Citadel will be there with us tonight. Michael Scott will get his ass out of bed and get over there with us. D-Mac is coming. I know you're coming, D-Mac, right? we got the crew in here that uh, follows us. I hope they come over and... Uh, I hope they come over and visit us at Twitter when we're done tonight. Small caps, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'll contact Matt, see if he's ready to go, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, sounds good, brother. Uh, yeah, uh, feel free to check us out on Twitter, guys. My handle's uh, at smallcaps101 over there. Cryptex is spelled a little bit different, but if you follow me, follow him, you'll be able to find find us over there. Uh, his thing is, uh, his name on here is actually spelled the same exact way. You just have to add the at sign in front of it and take out the space in between the two X's. That's how you spell his over there. But yeah, uh, if you guys are new here, smash that like button, subscribe, 
And make sure you uh, check out Matt's daily market every single day. Okay. So he's, he's always putting up some videos, man. Matt's a good dude. I'm glad he's doing things over here on YouTube. Uh, once I get a camera and everything set up and I get my gear, I'll actually get on here a little bit more. I'll show face on here. That way you guys actually know who you're looking at and who you're talking to. Cause, uh, I know it's kind of, it kind of sucks whenever you're looking or just looking at a screen and just listening. Dog along burn page. I see you in the house, brother. What's up? So for you dog along fans out there, right? Dog along Mars burn channel and your music guys out there. If you guys are interested in making music, you make music, right? And you want to want your stuff to be heard and streamed over there. Check out the dog along burn page over there on the Twitter, okay? And he has a SoundCloud set up. What they do, we stream over there. You, you stream uh, music that's on that channel. And all the proceeds from that channel every single month go to burning Dog Along Mars. So to date, I, I think a little over $4 billion, almost $5 billion Dog Along Mars have been sent to a dead wallet just from the ad revenue. Or I'm sorry, just from the uh, revenue that has been generated from that channel. So feel free to check him out. And then, uh, like I said, back to Twitter, X and I, we hold spaces all the time. We get Citadel in there. We get a couple other people in there, the whole, whole you know, the whole nine. So you can guys come over and visit, check out our spaces. We usually record them, so you'll be able to listen in on the uh, recorded space as well. You know, Cass, we're going to, when we jump over to YouTube tonight, Dr. X is going to be over there uh, doing some counseling for people that uh, have shitcoin disorder. Please join us over on Twitter. Matt should be in here right now. Matt's going to talk yo, yo, all yo, things yo, crypto. Yo. Back in the there market. he is. Oh, Luda Classic Chip and the excellent TA from Matt. I'm out, Matt. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks so much for letting us open for you again tonight, my brother. Yeah, thanks, thanks Matt. Brother. Thanks, brother. Thanks for hosting, man. Appreciate you guys. All right, let me get the camera straight. Give me one second, guys. What's up, Kappa Jones? Good to see you, bro. Give me a second, guys. Give me some stuff set up. second guys I'm getting um, set up all right looks like I'm not gonna be able to get on cam tonight so I apologize for that uh, what's up bro Roll, uh, Roland's in here oh small caps it's all good bro then below man Trying to get the webcam up, but it's probably not gonna be able to happen. So sorry about that. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, let me know uh, if you got any questions. We got Bitcoin starting to rip it here a little bit. Nineteen thousand one ninety-eight is the top of that rip. So we got over that nineteen one level. So it's looking a lot better here tonight, guys. We did hit a low of eighteen nine two seven. So that's what we're currently sitting at, trying to climb back. A little volatility in the market expected tomorrow with the Fed. So just keep an eye on everything, guys move over to ethereum um real quick on bitcoin i don't see us breaking over 19 uh three that's our next level of resistance but very good chance we at least touch it right here so that's kind of what i'm looking for here for bitcoin uh, ethereum 
trying to climb back 1300 of course is going to be your level of resistance that you're looking for so uh make sure you're looking out for that uh hopefully we see that tonight and you know we could get a little bump here tomorrow if the fed's not too hawkish so definitely something to pay attention to uh let me see what else we got uh it's ethereum so right now ethereum 1264 is the bottom i think we trade in between 1264 and 13 for the remainder of the afternoon um xrp trying to climb this way back up at least to the 40 uh almost 46 cent level that's going to give us a little resistance right there and then um of course trying to get back to this level at um closer to 47 right here where we broke down i can actually pick that up a little bit because that's about where we broke down at 47 uh flat so waiting to get back to that level hopefully we see it soon but you know we're gonna find out what the fed has in store for us tomorrow guys LUNC, Terra Classic. Bit of a downtrend here off the one minute chart, trying to pop back. We'll see if we get over that 200 moving average at 32408. Um, you know, currently underneath it right now, a little red, but we do have a big burn coming in tomorrow from Binance, so be on the lookout for that, guys. Uh, let's see what else we got. AVAC 1658. We're going to have to go through a lot of these tonight here off the live stream. Crypto Fear and Greed Index coming in at 24. Same fear as yesterday. So, Mark has been pretty steady there. So, not looking too bad, guys. Probably what I'm going to do is uh, I still got a few things to take care of on my end. So, I might ping everybody when I hit the live. Um, I'm probably going to have to go uh, help get these kids to bed real quick. So, you guys could give me about 15, 20 minutes. I'll be back on the mic and uh we'll keep it going btc pump yeah it's looking better man it is um it's starting to come back let's see if we can get to 19.3 um that'd be ultimate resistance tester tonight and we might see a pump leading up, up into the fed guys so we're just starting to hop in this channel between 19.3 and 19.1 so we're gonna see what happens here nice with cup and handle hey possibly look at this little cup handle break off bro looking pretty good man go to four hour chart a uh, little, little tiny uptrend set some higher highs and uh, except for right here now you're starting to consolidate to a, a pretty big phrase so hopefully we uh, we break to the upside here that's what we're hoping for give me one second real quick Yeah, guys, let me know what your thought process is for tomorrow. Let me know if um, you're bullish, bearish. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Love to know. And there's my Twitter handle here in the comment section, man. Uh, drop me a follow on Twitter. You'll be glad you did. I'll make sure to drop you a follow back. Uh, great content from X and Small Caps tonight, man. I really do appreciate them guys a lot. Really freaking do. Looks like Bitcoin's trying to break to the upside once again. Not looking too bad, guys. Not looking too bad. Appreciate that BTC Citadel. I'm trying to get some stuff situated right here. We're starting to pump right here. 19.2. See if we can continue pumping all the way to 19.3. 19.217. 
looking extremely bullish right here at 19233. Might have to change the title to the video. Bitcoin is pumping. Let me do that real quick. Alright guys, yeah, give me a few. Um, I gotta go take care of these kids for a little bit, man. So give me a few and uh, I'll be right back, guys. So just hang out, enjoy the charts, the music. I'll send out the alert as soon as I come back. It won't be too long. I just gotta take care of a few things, guys. So appreciate y'all hanging tight. I will be back.
Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Or I should welcome myself back. Bulldog Trading says if you're ready for a 100K Bitcoin type one. <laughs> what's up, guys? Let me know if you're rocking with me in the chat. Sorry, I had to take care of some stuff. But I am back. Uh, where are we at? 19,163. Not too much action tonight. Ethereum under 1300, guys. Shiba Inu, four zeros, 1110. Nothing's, uh, nothing's really moving. Thought it was going to be a little bit more volatile uh, this afternoon. Welcome back. Welcome back, host. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Travis, appreciate you, bro. Much freaking love, man. Super freaking busy, bro. Super busy. That's all I can say. So I'm talking about. Let me see what my camera's uh, going through. And I'll tell you if I can bring up my camera. My camera. My kit. My camera. Where we at? And you like the Desco? There you go, man. I didn't check it today to see where I was at. I'm trying to get this dang webcam up. I'll just pop another one up. How about that? baby makes me a little wide <laughs> fit right right in between them plums something like that rock with that what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of Matt's Market welcome 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 everybody so guys let me know uh, if you're still with me in the chat I greatly appreciate it I'm gonna shout out the alert We got eight people, but I'm not sure. All right, so uh, what's up, Crypto Life? How you doing, bro? What's up, Rick? Good to see you, man. Where's Jasmine at, man? Pull it up. Luna Classic is consolidating like a mug, man. Looking like it wants to break up to the upside. Big burn coming tomorrow, too. So, ooh, Jasmine down to zero six, man. Are you still holding that, uh, Rick? Let me know. Do not panic sell. I wasn't gonna. A lot of sideways action. What's 
What's up, Andre P? Russell. We tanking now. Who's tanking? What's tanking? Let me know, bro. What is tanking, my friend, Russell? One shot tequila down. Oh, you down for the mic, bro? Rick, you still holding Jasmine, dude? Dude, you, you are... Wow, I do got some diamond hands, bro. Shout out to Rick. Still holding the Jasmine. Let me fix my... Um... Not usually how my camera is, but we'll just have to work with it tonight. We'll have to work with it tonight. I'm trying to get it right, but that's what we got. I don't like the light um, on this side. So my bad about that, guys. So let me know if you got any questions in the in the comment section. We'll definitely get to them. Nineteen thousand one hundred sixty-six. The crypto market is sleeping. Um, we got China awake on the other side of the world right now. So expect a little bit more volatility than what we're getting, but not too much of nothing. So we'll see what happens with it. Like to know what Russell's saying. We tanking on. <laughs> that's who it is. I was just looking at the picture, bro. I thought that's uh, thought that's who that was. Um, waiting for ETH at 1K. You're 292 bucks away, man. Uh, very good chance. We got the Fed coming out. Could get a surprise BPS hike tomorrow. Um, that could do it, man. That could do it. What is crypto? That's our boy Goku, man, from Twitter. Yeah, it's pretty dead in the chat, man. Um, YouTube's been tough, man. Holy shit. YouTube's been rough. It's all good. We're going to keep growing it. Hope y'all enjoy X, man. I got X and small caps. Um, I'm expecting some volatility for sure, bro. Uh, I think it's going to get um, pretty crazy between now and tomorrow. Now, look, if the Fed comes out with some good, decent uh, type news, well, um, let me see what happens when I dim this down. It's like, um, it might not be so bad, man. So, um... Oh, look at the light lighting. No, I don't want it. I'm trying to get rid of that blue shade, but my camera's off on the uh, fritz tonight. Fuck it. I'm done with it. That's what we got. Yeah, so if the Fed comes out and raises rates, uh, there's a very good chance that uh, we do see a pullback in the market tomorrow. Which could bring you possibly your 1k ethereum and bitcoin much lower than what we're thinking so that's what i'd be looking for guys um i'm not saying that's what's going to happen but it's most likely looking like that's the route that um we're gonna take so i think the fed comes out and probably raises some rates and uh you know hurts the market a little bit more here we go we're starting to take a little dip right now off of bitcoin 19,161. A lot of green on the screen, but uh, not really. If you look at coin market cap, this is just Weevil. Caught some gains Friday. Hey, that's what's up, man. Anytime you're catching gains in any type of market right now, uh, good stuff, man. Oh boy, catching them gains, son. Okay. Let me update coin market cap real quick. 
Everything's still down about 2%. Roughly. Luna Classic still about 200 uh, million away from passing up BCH, Bitcoin Cash, for the number 30 spot. Crazy, crazy. Guys, reserve rights. What have we been telling you? RSR, man, it's been climbing and climbing and climbing. Market cap of 413 million. Sitting at 81 now. If this thing keeps climbing, I might have to FOMO in. Might have to FOMO in. It's uh, below a dollar. I would definitely take a look at this, man. RSR. Yeah, guys. Looks like YouTube's pretty... Uh Link volume is just uh, behind BTC. Yeah, it passed it on some exchanges. I think KuCoin, so uh, really good to see it doing some good stuff. But um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Nothing's happening tonight, guys. We might catch some runners tomorrow. I think the volatility is definitely going to be there. So if something significant happens, we'll hop back on the mic. FOMO and the Xmon. Man, I might be have to be that RSR. RSR is looking nice, man. Xmon price is uh yeah, 18,000, yeah. Not going to do that. <laughs> nah, you stay put. It's uh, steady climbing too, man. RSR. So nice to see Bitcoin's just floating, man, right now. In between 19.3 and 18.8. So expecting some volatility in the market for tomorrow, guys. So, I mean, really, that's it. We'll have to do an update tomorrow night. Kind of see where we're sitting at. So I'm probably going to get some sleep, man. I'm dead tired. Um, Why not about the same for BTC? Why not what? BTC is at 19,180, bro. I'm not trying to spend all that. I want some cheap tokens. Below a penny. I'm, I'm, I'm thrift, crypto thrift store shopping over here, bro. Yes, that's what I want. <laughs> if I leave, the market's definitely going up. But uh, now I gotta get some stuff together for work, man. I've been, I've been going too hard again, so I gotta calm down. So I'll be live tomorrow night, guys. You'll catch me for a full episode. Um, hopefully, we have a market breakdown. What happens with the Fed? Uh, I'll be shooting out alerts in Discord, so guys, you already know. Much freaking love. Uh, if y'all need anything, hit me up in Discord or on Twitter. I'll check.